Food owners tonight having to make some tough calls deciding whether or not to evacuate harbors. Businesses also preparing to lose customers in tough part of the year after tourism season. Yeah, Noah Noble is digging into both of these dilemmas in Bay St. Louis. He joins us live now with the latest details. Noah. Well, Hugh, people I've talked with today telling me this is nothing new because they've been through this before. But the X factor with this storm is the uncertainty of exactly where it'll make landfall and how much of an impact it'll have on South Mississippi. Boat owners who are under a mandatory evacuation here in Bay St. Louis telling me today this has been a tough call. You know, the only thing is if you leave your boat and it gets damaged, your insurance ain't going to cover it. So you're out a couple of hundred thousand dollars. You know, is that a risk you're willing to take? And that's what everybody out here is weighing right now. Michael White weighing his options after a mandatory evacuation was issued for Bay St. Louis Harbor. You only got two lines or four lines hanging you here. I got 16 lines holding me. So if two break loose, my boat winds up in the trees. Uh, I lose it either way. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. You know, that's part of owning the boat. Harbor Master Sean Hales issued the order Tuesday morning. He says it's like trying to thread a needle. You know, um, typically if we're expecting a storm surge of say four to five feet, that sort of is our benchmark for deciding to go ahead and issue the evacuation. There's things out on the docks that we need to do, like our power pedestals that we don't want submerged underwater. The team effort is critical in this, um, not just with harbor employees, but with the boat owners. As some boat owners heed the order, others are sticking it out and taking a chance. Um, I feel much safer right here. North of the harbor, businesses in downtown Bay St. Louis are preparing for wind and rain. But some, like Dan B's, aren't breaking a sweat. And this place was designed for water. It's all concrete, so if we get water on the floor, we just squeegee it out. We don't panic and we don't go out of our way to do anything. It is what it is. You know, whatever happens, happens. What does bother him is the potential impact on business in a time of year where every dollar counts. As slow as it is right now, closing one day is bad enough. If we got to have a storm, we need to get it done now and get it cleaned up for the cruising in October. So that's our biggest concern. Yeah, all of this uncertainty only adding more weight to those tough decisions being made by people across South Mississippi today. Live in Bay St. Louis, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.